what is up one and all welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2 it's been a while since I've uploaded any videos uh, that's actually because I wanted to focus on Watch Dogs 2 uh, in case you didn't notice recently I recently uploaded the ending for that game which means yeah I'm done with it basically so we're ready to get back on this I wouldn't say wrap this game up because we're probably only literally halfway through the game um, Nar Shada does take the longest time in the world so yeah I wouldn't expect to be done with the game anytime soon though we're well on our way to hopefully getting pretty far through it so um I think where I last left off if I'm not mistaken I was in this room over here checking out the Gand I talked to my one friend and the way you the way you uh find the Gand in this room you need like some sort of high it's one of the traits I think it's one of the skill traits for your character it needs to be really high in order for you to find it something like that I don't know exactly but excuse me we're gonna go into this room now don't believe I was in this room previously and if not then oh well you're probably not seeing this in the video if you are congratulations to myself I guess because I'm not mistaken all right so this is for the trained oceans and the the weak way the weak way you trespass here, alien. Here, let's talk to these guys. Filthy humans, place not for your kind. Everyone is super duper mean here, by the way. Tweet like Domo. I may have already talked to this guy. Again, the human comes before me. I heard the exchange mix is placed there lair. I think you're mistaken. I do not know who you refer, nor could I confirm it. Perhaps there is a private lounge within the Jack Jack Tar, where high-ranking members of the exchange make their lair. One could not hope to enter such a place unless invited. I'll wait for them, some of them to show. Don't play stupid with me. Tell me to get to them, or you'll be drowning in your own screams. Feels, feels bad, man. I'll be going now. Alright. So that's a dark side option right there, clearly. One of them was. Weekly. What you want here, human? The area here is not for your kind. Can I ask your Koi a question? Alright, so the Weekoi have this god called the, the, the Koi or the Quay or whatever you want to call it. Maybe you need to blast your carbine to the face. Look, I don't want I don't want any trouble. Let me enjoy my fumes. So yeah. I, I already I think I already went in this room. I just didn't upload it on YouTube, which is fine. I guess now you guys get to see it But can I ask your koi a question? This is their god You must ask it a yes or no question know that its answer is final Is there a Jedi master on Nar Shada? The answer is better left unknown. Okay uh, Are there all my companions loyal to me? Never can it occur Never can they all be loyal. All right um Will I find my true love? It must be. Okay. Should we leave Nar Shad Should we leave Nar Shada? You know the answer in your hearts. I'll be going now. That sounds like a big ass gimmick right there. Weekoy thug. Uh hello? Hey, I'm talking to you! No, no answer. Alright, say sound then. That's fine, that's fair. So yeah, the exchange is a secret lair in this place we don't know where it is though all right i think all of these guys are silent it's the gan treatment where they're like oh god i said it so many times what was it are you a warrior of the gand the gand is not the, the whatever it was something that the, I, I do not remember we were just looking for the gand warrior and we could not fan, find the gand warrior because all the gans did not distinguish themselves of the warriors because that's not the mentality of their race or something just like these guys don't like to talk which is perfectly fine, because they sound like shite when they talk. When they open their mouths, it doesn't make any sense. Alright, so we're not having a whole lot of luck in here. Yep, same old silent treatment. Yep. Do something. I thought I smelled the foul stink of a human. Alright, so we have dark side options in that room. We could pick a fight with that one guy in the corner. We could pick a fight with that one guy in the middle. Honestly, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what would be better for us. Or maybe we should just not do anything at all. But the Jack Jack Tar has been super unsuccessful. That I do know. Let's go in here. Aha! This is the way out. Landing pad. Oh god, who's this guy? 
Oh, that's the Wookiee Hunter. The mighty Hanhar. You wear your shackles well. How did your meeting with Gotu go? Do you feel I hope? Only a shadow in his voice. He fears to stand before others in the, the flesh. He's a strange prey. I do not pay you to hunt him, but to kill him, Wookiee. Perhaps I choose unwisely. Perhaps another bounty hunter scum can serve me better. You'll find none who can hunt better than me. I have walked the Shadowlands of Kashyyyk and returned with the pincers of the Ken Kenrath buried in my flesh with the scars of battle upon me. With yes, yes, now that is why Zerka found you such easy prey. I care nothing for the accomplishments of primates on some backwater world, Hanhar. I care only for your accomplishments here, upon the smuggler's moon. But if you cannot perform the task, then perhaps the human female will serve Mira, is it? Even nauseatingly thin and shapely and free of wrinkles, she is said to have a dancer's grace and be a better hunter than you. She refuses to kill, but I imagine with enough credits, I can persuade her otherwise, especially considering what a disappointment you have proven to be. Speak of her again, I will tear your tongue from the, from your, your throat, your throat. Oh god, nope, don't do that, bad idea. These are my hounds, Hanhar, just as you are. I tell you again, find Gotu, kill him, and do not return until you have done this. I return, Voga, this I swear to you. Are huts just born to be mob bosses? Is that is that the stereotype around here? And heck, if Hanhar's all the way over there, I swear to God, the way this game works, if I run over there, try to find him, he's not gonna be there. He's not gonna be there. There's no real time effect. All right. Well, we're heading back to the refugee landing pad. In any case. So. Oh, whoops! I didn't want to go that way. I just came from there. Let's go back. All right. So, I don't know. Maybe it's another uh, situation where our landing pad gets shot up and we'll find the way out. All right, so that was that. We just got this message on the comm link. Oh, here we go. It's like trouble. I think this is something everyone will want to hear. Agree. Uh, we will turn to the Ebon Hawk. The droid's the one who picked up the message. He's got it all ready to display. Welcome, Sator. I regret this message has taken so long in reaching you, but I only recently became aware of your presence on Nar Shaddaa. I am Visquis, a representative of an exchange of shipping interests here on the Smuggler's Moon. I wish to discuss something of mutual interest concerning your past profession and prospects for the future. Oh, do come alone. One human in my presence is more than enough. All right, yeah. we finally got an audience. Good thing it's not a trap. It may be a trap, but traps work both ways. This Visquis, his kind is spread through the lower reaches of Nar Shaddaa, and he may have information. But the choice is yours, if you go. You will have to go alone. Oh, I know where it is. I'll go see him. Well, I wouldn't keep him waiting. If you got his attention, you probably attracted the attention of someone else. Cool. Exactly what we wanted. Has there been any news from the scout? Last news I heard was the Jedi was back on the piece of junk they call a ship. It keeps going back and forth. Very tiring to watch. This is very frustrating. We Zoogs are big time bounty hunters. Very important, very famous. But then the target comes to us for a collection, and then we can do nothing except sit and wait. I feel as if I'm back on the Labor Commission on Duras. It is one of the reasons we started affecting policy change with our blasters. The scouts reported back with a very strange news. The exchange has arranged a meeting with one Jedi. With, with the Jedi. Oh, I skipped something. Perhaps the Jedi caused so much trouble, Gotu got tired of it. Maybe they find another Jedi. No, it is obvious what Gotu intends to do. Gotu intended to hire us to drive the Jedi to Nar Shaddaa. Now that the Jedi is here, Gotu doesn't need to pay us anymore. He'll try to capture the Jedi himself. But we cannot attack the Jedi. Gotu would put bounties on all our heads. Then we'll take the Jedi's companions and the Jedi ship hostage. Not again. Come on. Honestly, can people just F off? Gosh. All right, well, we're going alone, and we're meeting the exchange. As is what we wanted. That's exactly how we wanted this to go. No solo mode. I literally am going at this alone. Refugee. Got a little refugee crisis on my Shaddai here. Uh-huh, uh-huh. All right. Is this the elevator over? I believe it is. I think it is. No, no, it's not. Never mind. Where is it? It's on the opposite side, isn't it? Yep, to docks. So this is either gonna go interestingly well. In other words, they have the other Jedi captive, possibly, hopefully. Or not so well. 
Either way, we'll have some progress. Oh, look at Atten over here, breaking the rules. Hey, look. I wanted to tell you. Be careful. I won't be able to contact you via the comlink if something happens. And I'm betting that Squidhead knows it. I appreciate your warning, Atten. Thanks. Alright, how warm or cold do we want to be? Uh, I appreciate the warning, Atten. Thanks. Look, take these. They're healing packs. If your suit gets breached, you'll need to inject them fast if you don't want your lungs to seize up. And trust me, once the seizures start, you'll be dead. Seizures? That's comforting, thanks. Watch yourself, and don't be too long. I'll keep an eye out here until you return. And I know just the place. Uh-huh? Atten mysteriously seems ahead of the situation, even though we're not. All right. So, you're the big Jedi that everyone's been Oh, uh, look who it is. It's Mira. You don't look so tough to me. I thought you Jedi were supposed to be smart, and here you are running around Nar Shadda, sticking your lightsaber into everyone's business. What, were you planning to save everyone on this moon? You're attracting more attention than a fleet of Sith warships. What's to you? I'm Mira. I'm the best bounty hunter in this system, and that's not me bragging, that's fact. I had you in my sights ever since you landed. I've been watching you run all over the refugee sector like a bantha, and for someone with a price on their head as high as yours, you sure don't know how to keep a low profile. Look, I know that Squidhead Visquis sent you a message to meet him in the Jek Jek Tar. He works for Godo, and it's a trap. I'm betting he's gonna lure you in there, start a fight, and then he's gonna wrap you up and deliver you to Goto. Dead, claiming you attacked him. Something I have to do. Well, whatever your reasons are, the fact you're meeting with Visquis is what I want to talk about. If I know about it, that means everybody else on this moon knows about it, or will soon enough. And when that happens, the bounty hunter truce is off. That means things are going to get real ugly real quick. Let them come after me. I've survived this long. I've been a target ever since I've entered Republic space. I think your friends are the ones in trouble. Uh-oh. Flash frame. Freeze frame? Flash frame? I don't know. Well, this sure beats staying on the ship. A few drinks to keep me on my toes, a few games of Pizza uh -oh. to keep the mind alert. Look out behind Should you. Should be enough to keep me out of trouble until our fearless leader straightens things out. Yep, figured as much. Give me a hit of Juma and keep him coming. Well, looks like staying on the ship was a bad idea after all. That's what I love about Nar Shadda, the company. Don't fall for it. They're prostitute so, assassins. I don't think I caught your names. Uh, you two work here? Or? We are dancers, yes. Slaves once, now no more. Yeah? What happened to your master? He was made deceased. We served no one but ourselves. And you, of course. Tell us, why have you come to the smuggler's moon? Perhaps you're looking for something? Perhaps us? No, actually, I'm here protecting someone. Keeping them out of trouble. By acting as a distraction for people looking to harm her. Harm her? Do you think we're assassins? We are not assassins. Assassins kill for money. That is not what we do. We only wish the exile submit, or else we shall kill you and find other baits. Why wow. don't you two shut us try it, and we'll see what happens. If that is what you wish, then we shall end you. It has been too long since we have killed. Whoa. Whoa, they got swords. Oh my gosh, I'm playing as that and gotta kill both of them. Alright. Alright. Which one do we kill? And in what order and how do we do this? Okay. Um Alright, round two. Here, let's let's try focus okay, so I know what to do. I gotta get that shield going. Let's see here. Hopefully. Assumingly I was just focusing on the wrong person last time. Mandalorian melee shield and we start with attacks. No, hold on. Shield first. Probably an alacrity thing will help me out here. Hyper battle stimulant, and then let's get the attacks going. Stim yourself, buddy. And then go shooting. I think she has... It looks like she has less health. That's what it seems like. Okay. I'm starting to take a little bit of damage here. Pop the shield again. Get a shooting. She won't, might not be able to protect herself for very long. All right, pop the shield again. She's almost dead. Uh, yeah, I definitely focused on the wrong person last time. Come on. Don't use those med packs. Knock it off. All 
Oh my gosh, this is so annoying. This is such an annoyance right now. Alright. Med pack, med pack. Come on, do it. Pop the shield. Med pack. Pop another one. Alright. Now get shooting. Now get shooting. Alright, our shield's gone. Quickly. Melee and melee shield. And then more attacks. We're gonna kill one of them. Nothing else. Boom, I got one of them. Okay, that should make things a lot easier now. Alright, let's take this opportunity to pack ourselves. So to speak. Alright, yeah, focusing on the left one is definitely a better strategy this time around. Oh, it seems like she's the tank and her friend was the DPS. That seems to be... That's the impression I'm getting, at least. 100 points. Let's get that one. Pop that. And then let's go to town. Oh! We got this. Come on. She's almost dead. She's almost dead. Don't use med packs. You whore. Stop that. Stop that. Just keep shooting. Okay, hold on. We need to stop shooting so much. We start to use these med packs. Come on, come on, don't die, don't die now! Uh! Another one, another one. Let's go shooting again. Yes! Oh god, that was that was well, tough. That's it. The bounty hunter truce is off. That means this place is gonna get real bad, real fast. I better get back to the ship. Warn the others. Except the ship is also under attack. Plot twist. Man, this sucks. I don't know why a Jedi would come here. There's so much noise on this moon. Of course. It makes detecting a Jedi difficult. But to be in a place where one drowns in the Force, why would a Jedi wish that? A simple question, to which I ask another. Why should a Jedi want to hide? Hey, we need to move out. What do you mean? The truce between the bounty hunters and Nar Shaddaa oh, is out. off. There's gonna be a war. A trap in the Jek Jek Tar is bad enough, but having a hundred bounty hunters on your back is something else. She was told to meet alone. We cannot disrupt their meeting until the alien reveals the information he has. Look, we need to move. They're coming after us, not the Exile. These hunters will be tracking the Exile as well. We must warn her. Forget her. She can handle herself. I'm more worried about us. We're not going to leave her here. We stand together or not at all. Oh god. Refugees, here, on the landing pad. Are you lost? Or perhaps you have lost your criminal Jedi exiled leader. Perhaps that is more likely. Yes, very. I'm a Zanti Zug, leader of the Zugs. Very powerful, very skilled hunters. It would be very smart of you to tell me where the criminal Jedi has gone. I speak very quick, my patience is very low. Anybody here catch that? All I understood was very. I think he wanted us to give up the general to his poorly trained collection of bounty hunters. Ah, well, that would explain it. Which one do you want? I'll take the stupid one, who decided to threaten us rather than shoot us when he had the chance. <laughs> Wonderful. Alright, I don't know if we're going to be able to control them, or we're going back to our other character. Alright, it seems like we're going back to our other character. This is one of my safe houses. It's, it's not too pretty to look at, but keeps away prying eyes. It certainly has its own distinctive smell. Yeah, well, it's one of those trade-offs. All the freighter exhaust from the docks, you know. Some aliens actually like breathing it, if you can believe it. The smell doesn't seem to bother you much. I'd say I've gotten used to it. This is actually perfume compared to how the rest of the docks smell. Enough talk. Get to the point. You know, Visquis is arranging a trap for you in the Jek Jek Tar. No surprise there. Thing is, he intends to cut the bounty hunters out of the loop and deliver you to Goto personally. <laughs> Not smart from where I'm standing. What are, you going, what are you going to do about it? Well, for one thing... You're going to stay here, and I'm going to meet with Visquis instead. How do you figure that? Well, that smell you noticed when you came in? <laughs> it's probably filtering that through emo. your lungs right now. I upped the dosage in case you had some Jedi training to resist poisons. Anybody without olfactory blockers, like I have, is going to start feeling dizzy. Oh, man. And eventually fall unconscious. So we're actually going Jedi. to control her? Let me just take that environment suit, and I'll be back soon. Right as my character was getting up in the animation. Okay, so we actually don't personally meet with them. 
There was an environment suit you could get? Seems the exi exile has chosen to come after all. Ah, oh, so now we don't know. Seek the entrance to the... Seal the entrance. Okay. Unlock the sequencer to the private chamber. I'll meet the human there. I've brought the Jedi to you. Now where's go to? You shall be compensated, Hanhar. The trap is not yet sprung. Till then, I request your patience. Alright, so now I'm we're playing as Mira. Which I guess means she's our next companion. Alright, let's see. She probably has a ton of upgrades here. So let's see. She's got computer use, demolitions, awareness, repair, and treat injury. It's decently high. We don't want to focus on security or stealth. So let's crank up both of these things. Let's just hit everything here, basically. Okay. Uncanny dodge. Um, dueling characters that focus on using one-handed weapons battle gain a one plus. All right, so she's all about that one plus weaponry. She's all about guns. She's got rapid shot. Uh, let's see here. What else we got? And conditioning. One plus to all saving throws. Uh huh. Uh huh. Flurry empathy. Where's the one that gives them bonuses to when they level up? Unless they already have that. Regenerate vitality points. I didn't know that was an ability. Huh. While I'm wearing a virus suit, I have nothing. Okay, fair enough. They could have just added a new animation, but no, the KOTOR 2 developers were like, Nope, just speed it up. Just speed it up. Hey guys. Hey guys, this is normal. This is my condition. This is my rare condition. It's called uh, tap dance. It's called uh, tap foot psoriasis. You gotta add psoriasis or osis at the end of it. Tap dance psoriasis. Door. You finally arrived. Please come and remove the cumbersome suit. The air here is quite suitable for your kind. Do not be taken aback by my hospitality. I assure you, no one will harm you as long as you are my guest and we keep things cordial between us. Ooh. You! Good eyes, Hanhar. No wonder you're still number two on Narshada. Ooh, number two. Rub it in. Restrain yourself, Hanhar. There's no need for violence. I gather from your conversation that this is not the Jedi invited here. It is difficult for me to tell. You humans all look so alike to me. Perhaps you would care to explain why I owe the honor of your, this visit and where I might find the Jedi? Yeah. And maybe you'd like to explain why you've decided to backstab Goto and claim the Jedi for yourself. Ah, what a prime example of human arrogance. What you know is substantially less than what I know, otherwise you would not have come here. One, everything that goes on in Jack Jack Tar is invisible to go to. It's something I discovered by accident, and I've tested many times since to, in since to ensure, in ensure accuracy. They spelled that wrong. Second, I am not acting on Gotu's orders. Not anymore. Hanhar and I reached an agreement to deal with Gotu altogether and collect a tidy sum from Voga. You signed on with Voga the Hut? Visquis, you're dumber than I thought. There's no way Goto won't find out. He might, it is possible, but it is a risk I'm willing to take. You see, Voga is very tired of having his freighters hijacked by Goto. It is causing his word to have less weight on El Hada. There's a leak in his operations here on Narshada. Oh, I skipped it. Darn it. Unfortunately, Goto is very careful about showing himself to others. Voga's employee, Hanhar, discovered this when he attended gathering on Goto's yacht. It is always holograms with Goto. Always. But I have a suspicion that Goto will reveal himself as a to a Jedi. When that happens, okay. Unfortunately, it is clear he will not reveal himself to a two-credit bounty hunter with the audacity to try and strike a deal with me. So please, tell me where the Jedi is. I'm not in a mood for negotiation. Yeah, right. I'm not telling you where the Jedi is. It's my bounty. And that means she's under my protection. How predictable. Very well. Oh, come on. Now we're gonna go in there and uh, take her away. It looks like as if we're not be getting the Jedi this day. What of our deal? My payment? Hanhar, please, calm yourself. The Jedi was on the way to meet us when, when sidetracked. We must be patient. If she is a Jedi, perhaps she'll come to her and find some misguided sense of protectorship. If not, she'll come to meet with me. We may strike another arrangement. Oh boy, things are heating up. Kind of. Forced tension. Kind of. In the plot. Kind of. Eey. Ouch. I know you can hear me. The numbness you feel should be. It's this guy. It's the guy we're looking for. Before we've spoken. When I first heard you were on Nar Shada, I didn't quite believe it. I didn't think anyone could track me here. But I see I underestimated you. 
I've watched you as you have traveled the refugee sector. I've seen what you have done, what I refused to do. Even exiled, you are more a Jedi than I. If anything, know that your actions have convinced me I can stand by and watch no longer while the exchange closes its grip on this sector. I know a young woman went to meet with Visquis in your place. He will not negotiate with her. He will kill her. I intend to rescue her. I will return shortly, or not at all. If you have come to this moon for answers, or for revenge, then you will follow me. For if I fail, then you will be denied both. Whoa. This is crazy. Zezkai reveals himself all of a sudden. So, we're getting everything done in one go here. So, as soon as we show up, Goto will show up. And as soon as that happens, we kill him. We satisfy Voga. We get the fuel from Voga from whatever the plan is, Slayharon. Boom, bada, bing. I think we're. I think this is the uh, the final mission, essentially on Narshada. The final mission on what has been a, a hellish time of a plan. Not entirely hellish, but just it's been it's been a very headache-inducing time. The only thing bad about this is that after we're done here. After we're done, you know, here on Nar Shada, is that we gotta go back to our ship. And, uh... Finally, the genuine specimen. I thought I had to have to waste more time than resource and resources baiting another trap. But the Jedi has come without an environmental suit. Brave, indeed. We shall let the fumes of the Jek Jek Tara capture the Jedi for us. Oh, not so, not so fast. Listen to me. Clear your thoughts. Can't breathe. Uh, can't breathe. Still, you're breathing. Let the trace amounts of air in your lungs hold you. The force can sustain. Well, this is crazy. It. Let it keep you alive until you reach safety. This is pretty nuts right now. What's going on? Ooh, nice. You've learned a new force power, breath control. Protects you from all poison damage for a limited period of time at the cost of force points. It's an old technique similar to the healing trance. Some Jedi can hold their breath for hours, even days. Like Darth Maul. The Jedi is strong. Even the air of this place cannot bring her down. I grow weary of these subtleties. Or whatever he said. Let well, the clientele know the Jedi, the real Jedi, has arrived. If necessary, remind them of the price for the Exile's capture. Well, looks like we're not finding that Gan guy. You think they could stop the Jedi? She will carve through them like a blade. Hanhar, do not take me for a fool. They cannot kill the Exile, only weaken her for capture. But be silent, and let us wash the amusements on the monitors. You can find toxins that are inhaled or absorbed through the skin with breath control. Select like this force power and use it to keep you alive in the Jek Jek Tar. Alright, let's see where we got this ability. Uh, breath control, that must be what it is. Alright, well, it looks like we're gonna fight everybody now. I mean, essentially. Hi, guys. Come deal with me. Come as you are. Oh, everybody's fighting me now. Everybody's fighting me. Do we need a personal shield? Probably, that would help. Okay, let's turn this on. Let's go with power attack. Man, we're dealing literally no damage. We are dealing literally no damage to any of these people. Alright, hold on. We can't deal damage with this guy. Let's try this. Oh, man. He's dying easy. There we go. Now attack the bar patron. There we go. Maybe now we'll get him. Nothing. Nothing does it. Literally nothing gets them. The only thing that was semi-successful was Flurry. There we go. Oh my gosh. So frustrating. I can keep shooting at them, but it doesn't do much. Alright. Let's go for these guys. Fight everyone off, why don't we? Let me get these guys first. Get these guys, bar patrons. They literally are one shot. Actually, no. No, no, no. Don't go for them. Throw a grenade their way, actually. There we go. 
Come on, please die. There we go. Jeez. Oh man, that was ridiculous. Man, some of these guys just would not die. That should have not taken long at all. But gosh, all my attacks were missing. Why? What the heck? Mm -hmm. 